Hello, family and friends. This is Kim shopping on shoestrings. And we're going to do a little garden update. These are some potatoes that are growing in here. This is my beefsteak that hopefully over the weekend I can get down. And that's uh, another potato going that way. And then there's some carrots, the beets, the salad onion, husker plant, cantaloupe, yellow squash. That one I'm gonna have to find a place and tie her up soon. A potato and a straight eight. That's straight eight. I don't know why it's growing so slow, but it's a growing. And then these ones back here. And I think. No, that's just. I was wondering. See, I'm trying to teach its little curly curls to climb these rails. that one. I gotta water. I gotta water. Um, dino kale. I'll go around. There's a dino kale. Cherry tomato with carrots. The pumpkin. And this gal. Oh! I, uh, rearranged my patio. Yes, I did. I got all this from out here, now I can add another small table and a second chair for me and him to set out here. And uh, that little table I ended up using for that plant. So I did some rearranging and then um, I got filled up this corner because I was just getting too much sun for me. And it just, it's just better. It opened up the patio, gives me a lot of room. That's my big beefsteak. It's a good, probably 13, 14 inches tall. And this I put back here because it definitely needed more sunlight. It just, that's the Swiss chard, curly cow, basil. Petal, garlic, something else coming up down there. Potatoes, husker plant, that plant, husker plant, and I don't know what the heck this is coming up up here. I didn't put probably a potato. Cranberry lily, spider warts. But I have a surprise. When I was rearranging, I was sitting here looking at this container. And there was something in it, and it's like, what is that? So I know I had planted some, like, avocado and mango seeds. I had just stuck them down in there. I figured, oh well, they either do or they don't. And I didn't notice it because it was facing the back of the the windows over here. We have a mango tree. I am so, 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 she's about four inches tall. I am so impressed. It's like, oh, I was so tickled when I found this gal yesterday. Yes, yeah, so she's got a good root system on her. And, uh, of course, I know this will have to go into a bigger pot, but this is good for the moment because I wanted to get her out of there before her root system got tangled up with the tomato. So, a mango tree. So awesome. I really didn't think they'd do anything. Those are my pickling cucumbers almost ready to be tied up. I have some rice for the birds and composting. Cherry tomato. 
lemon, cucumber, the, uh, yellow squash. This, look at how beautiful these are. They're huge. I mean, there's my hand. How big these things are. They're gigantic. I really got to look up and see how dry some out. And my little vines, I don't know. She's not liking this. I tried to tie them up. And... They just don't seem too happy. Those are my um, spaghetti squash. So I don't know. I'll have to see if they snap out of it. Well, this one doesn't seem to mind. She's loving it. It's uh, morning glory here. And that's my zucchini. Oh, was glad if you decided to come out. He doesn't want to come out. I gotta get my garbage blur down there for the dumpsters. That's he's not getting it out, so I'm gonna haul it down there. But yeah, see that just opened that whole back end up, which made it nice. Now what I'd like to do, probably not this summer. But next spring, I want to get some of those natural wood trellises. I think they're four by eight or I'm going to put one here and one here and get two more and cut them down, put one here. I want this totally enclosed and the apartment place don't care. And I'm going to put one here that um, I'm going to try and figure out how I can make it movable if possible otherwise it'll be permanent but yeah I would love to uh, to do that I would love to do that this summer but I just don't have the funds for it right now but we'll see you never know all right well I was just real tickled about my little fine and I wanted to let you guys know I don't know if it'll survive it's doing okay and it's a mango yum later